Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you a easy way or a cheaper way to save money on buying panniers, waterproof panniers for your bike tour or just uh, your daily commute. I have some panniers, mine aren't waterproof. Uh, my friends wanted something that was cheaper, wasn't going to break the bank because these things can run you up to $150, $180, maybe even more depending on the brand. Um, so I told him to get me to get some dry bags. These are 20 liter dry bags, and they're the Volley. So this, these are supposed to be backpack dry bags. Um, this isn't waterproof. This part right here, but the whole bag is. It's covered with PVC poly, and in the back, they have these hooks, which are really nice to, you know, uh, strap on your bike. So. Um, he has a different rack than I do for my bike. Mine's a Trek Comfort. And I kind of just bungee corded it together to try to see how it's going to fit. Uh, it's going to be a little different on his, but, you know, we can always make things work. So I put this bungee cord on top. And as you can see, it wraps around the loop. Whoops, it wraps around this loop right here. So when you bend it and then you clip it on top, and then it's also on the handle bar, the handle bag. Um, we're not gonna be carrying heavy, heavy things on this bike, so it's perfect. And then, so I got this bungee cord that goes down, has a loop, and then hooks onto this part right here. These, and I have this on this side, on the left and right side, and it also has a loop. The loop is for this bungee cord. This bungee cord wraps around, goes through the loop. And I made these holes on on this little non-waterproof space. Uh, made, I made these loops right here. I'm probably gonna make them actually. That's yeah, fine. And then so you kind of just wrap it on here, and that's just to keep it up. And then you could also put another strap right here, just to keep it real snug. But you know these only cost twenty five bucks on on Amazon free shipping so that's right there fifty dollars and it's waterproof you could still use it afterwards there's no damage to it you could still use it for camping or anything else and as you can see they're pretty big they can hold a good amount so if you guys are thinking of buying panniers I would say think of this option first Hey guys, in reference to the last clip you guys just saw, I'm going to show you some stuff that I'm bringing on my bike tour. So, um, I do have another channel, which I thought I was uploading this video to my other channel, but I'm uploading it to this channel that you guys are in right now. Uh, so this is going to be my main channel now. Um, I was living in my van, in my other channel, I was driving to Alaska and kind of uh, just drifting around. Now I'm in Lake Tahoe. I have a job and it ends in October. So after October, I'm gonna do this bike tour. Uh, I'm gonna show you some stuff that I have here. Um, just a little update. So I got these biking shorts. They're 3D printed, very comfortable off of Amazon, 10 bucks. I got this microfiber towel. It's a large one. It's, I think, 40 by 60 or 70 with a face towel for free, 10 bucks really cheap dry fast they pack up real tight also got these super body warmers which we're all gonna uh, share keep you warm you don't have to bring extra clothes extra socks to keep you warm you kinda already have these and then you got these wash towels and these wash towels are for when we're riding somewhere and we're dirty or we're gonna eat somewhere and our faces are uh, you know sticky or you have to go to the restroom or anything like that these are really good to have because not all campsites have showers and yeah just um i'll have a video updating everything that i'm taking and then my friend's bikes and everybody's bikes and then i'll record the whole journey too um so yeah and there's some other videos coming up too so uh subscribe man